people then will be buying into your company. It becomes trillion. Trillion. Moving to two trillion, four trillion dollars. The company, one number. Now, one number will just. Visual has a man, he got some small money. Oh, two bedroom in the village. You know, boys in Glee. And nature is the richest man. Oba. Walking like a chimpanzee. Because of money. That in no money. Odu. When he went to the next nearest town, he saw that he was nobody. I'm not talking about nobody somewhere. When you enter, every nation wants to give you a visa. In fact, they will chase you with business. Their business community will come to Ghana to come and sign an agreement with you that come and open a branch in our place. When you have it, everybody's chasing you. Ah, you think if we got some, who is the richest man in, in the world? Who? Elon Musk? Is it right? Elon Musk. Who? Okay. They've mentioned three people. Imagine all these three people decide to come and become citizens of Ghana. You think the president will interview them? If it takes some days to become a citizen, they will make it right. And I'm what? They bring, these three people comes here with their wealth. The America will come and borrow from us. Bibi Abetra, Krim. Oh, you think Ghana going to go and bring paper? Who needs to go and bring this? Go and bring this. If you don't have money, they will ask you uh, your bank account, your what? Uh, your... Meanwhile, the one asking you at the embassy, go and look into his bank account. He owes credit. And they're asking you. Who have thousand dollars in your account? They say it's not enough. They ask them how much is enough in the account. Ha! You reject where you? Reject? Then I No, I say. And he said, the world is going on. Say, ah, why? They make you look useless. Going to a country, they look at you. They tell you, you won't come back. How? Am I your citizen? Hey, me, I reject me though. Small boy, be. Meet my one of Bokura. Don't let you carry. Sometimes you carry your lamp papers. Ah! What the meaning? Me, 
maybe some of our brothers give them the chance. But if I can buy my ticket in and out, so can't I go to a holiday there? You will come for a holiday here. You will come with nothing. Credit card. Me, I go with debit. Me spend it. I feel no be interview me. Questions are in him. Are you married? Do you have how many children do you have? I know, I know, I know. You perceive this how many people are now? I do. When did your father die? I found out I could cross him. Oh, be some of them. There was a few years. How many of you have been rejected before? You cried. Some of you cried that day as if Jesus has come. You couldn't eat. If it's summer, that's good. But winter, my skin is not made for that. I remember when I went to UK, it's from winter. They had to buy me electric blanket. Auntie Charlie. Hey. Your your place. Great. But in all, what we need is blessing. But it takes obedience. Blessings, you know, what obedient done? Obeyed. When they sent his out, they said, Hey, David, fire the call. The thing that is killing people. He obeyed. That I'm going to treat this God very well. I'm going to serve him here. Every morning we'll serve him with my entire family. And then they pray. God blesses them. And they saw Mrs. Obedidon. The next day, that her dress have changed. Her hairstyle have changed. Her shoe have changed. Her back have changed. If you see a woman back change, shoe change, dress change, not be bare but fear. Mama no mo yenyeska ye hu. Unyeska ma uirindi. Somebody say, hey, Sofo. Pastor. Pastor. Fear woman. I won't fear woman. Love woman. You are blessed so that your wife, they will see. 
if you are blessed, they see it in your wife and your children. Oba, sometimes man say, I know, I'm much that you late. Upia ate wano. Na wa make. Na dia fa. They have some workings. Are you taught how to walk? Oh, some of the schools they teach. How Wesley girls, they teach you how to walk, how to sit, how to cross your leg, how to do Me school they didn't teach them that. So if you see my schoolmate girl, you know that this one is perfect and not schoolmate. In all that, we need to be blessed. We don't receive blessing for ourselves alone. We are blessed so that we become a blessing. God blessings does not only go to one person. He look into your heart and sees that you are a conduit. You are somebody that he wants to bless people from. That when you put it, you won't swallow it and sit on it. So he blesses you so that others will be blessed. So we're going to take our blessing. Are you ready? So the scripture didn't finish it. I like the scripture. He said to them, what did he say? Deuteronomy 28. He said, we'll go to verse 2. God will set you up from above. He will set you, you will be at the top. And all this word, say blessings. Say blessings. Shall what? Come upon you. It means that the blessing come upon you. Today we want this blessing to come upon us. Not only coming upon us, but what? overtake you that in your journey of life you will meet the blessings ahead of you. Inti okay bye bye cases. Because you have hearkened toward the voice of the Lord, isn't it? Blessed shall you be in the world. So it doesn't matter where you are planted. When blessing is upon you, you can be in a city and you will be blessed. You can be in America and you will be blessed. You can be in Europe and you will be blessed. You can be in Africa and you will be blessed. You can be in Burkina Faso and you'll be blessed. You can be in Sudan and you'll be blessed. You can be where? Tell me. Huh? Fra fra ha, and you'll be blessed. Blessed shall you be in the city and blessed shall you be in the country in the village. I told you a story about a gentleman who was blessed. He was so blessed. No, 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 the Boko man. He was in the office. I don't know one of these civil uh, ministry. And the guy was doing his Christian, doing his work very well, hard working. Why people are taking bribe, he won't take. So people were so people were giving him gift. When things go through, they just walk. The boss was there and they found that the guy had built a house. He said, ah, with this salary, how did you build it? You don't take bribe too. 
he took the guy straight at into the Afram plane transferred. That place you need boat to cross by the edge of the Boat no say until me my back. We call it overseas. <laughs> this guy went there as an extension officer and he worked very hard. He, he didn't become better. He still worked hard. And the village people, love, they love him. They gave him cows. He started raining them. He started increasing. His boys they didn't know. And years to come, the boys came, they were coming for uh, a round inspection. When they came, he gave him one, uh, one cow. He said, ah, how can you buy a cow? He took him and showed him. He said, go back to Accra. He said, back. The way we are suffering, I come back there. Because that place you don't buy food. People give him food free, everything. Chop money, no transport, no TNT. What he thought he was cursing the guy with had become a blessing. Your hatred can change my blessing. And your jealousy will never stop God's hand from blessing me. So if you are in a city, you'll be blessed. If they take you to the village, you'll be blessed. The blessing is not the place. The blessing is your God. So Wherever you are, if you travel, you will be blessed. If you stay here, you can be blessed. Just know where God wants to position you and be there, and you'll be blessed. Finally, blessed shall be, shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the country. Wow. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body. The fruit of your body. Your children. Sometimes they start, you look at their lifestyle and say, hey, would these children make it? But at the end, the child become great. When you are blessed, your children will be blessed. Yeah. The world may make them go through some situation. Don't be afraid that you will lose them. They will come back because the blessing has the ability to pull them back to the original purpose of God. That's it. The produce of your ground and the increase of your head, the increase of your cattle, and the offspring of your flocks. Your business, whatever business you do, you cannot explain it. You'll be blessed. You may do the same business with small capital. But your profit will become great and mightier than those who seem to have larger and bigger capitals. Let me see. What again? The next. The next. Five. Verse five. Don't finish. 
Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Your basket and what if you go to your office you can be paid a salary. I always say that your office, your boss, the government gives salary. God gives income. So you'll be blessed. You have a bank, bank account will be powerful. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Okay. Finally, okay, let me end there. So, what is it that you will be blessed? The scriptures finally says that it is God who gives us power to make wealth. It's part of the blessing. He gives us what? Power. He gives us what? Sometimes you can find. Excuse me, Sebi Sebi. A professor of economics. A professor who have got all certificate of money, whatever concerns money. I can find somebody who haven't got to the university. <laughs> she said, Makala Mat. Makala Mathematics. Who will you know the Makala Mathematics? You find out that the professor may have books as wealth. And knowledge as well. But sometimes the mat makala mathematics mathematician can employ a chartered accountant. Yes. Pay him. Or did not dream the business. No. No, or you saw your juano. The word Tiawaka. Most of the time, the C are the entrepreneurs and they use the A's to do their work. And the profit comes to them and they give you small. He says, I've worked a I could be a businessman. Go to some businesses. Graduates are there. People are talking. Talk, 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 talk. Ujiskana na mwa kakra nodi. Kasamano. Our lawyers. Our people. Graduates. Why expand it? Are businesses everywhere? Yeah, you meet now. You're free graduates, no, no, and they're friend. Now, what churn is speech, man? What you are doing now? Can they have boys, man? May God let you benefit from your brain. Yeah. Let nobody take your brain and make money out of it and leave you. And they say, who did it from? I say, so for this, I'm not okay. Give me a minute. We say, do I know something about tree? But yeah, I'm not going to be a tree. 
Bien pesa mtena makano brofo. Amen. So we're going to take the blessings. He's the one who gives us what? Power to make wealth. So we are receiving power to make wealth. We are receiving what? To make what? Tell yourself I'm receiving power to make wealth. That is what we call blessing. We'll be praying very soon and you will just release your blessing. I want you to be praying to pray now. I want you to just ask God who gives us power to make blessings. I want you to speak to him to open the heavens and pour in blessings. Even when the scripture that talks about tithe, he said, when God opened the heaven, he doesn't pour in money, he pour in blessings. Because that blessings contain many things. I want you to pray for that. The heavens will be open. This afternoon, heavens will be open. For people to be blessed. Ephesians said, praise be to God. And Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. I want you to pray for this blessing. Remember your God. For it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth. And so confirm his covenant, which he swore to your ancestors as it is today. Pray. Pray. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. And the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you today. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace in every area of your life. This shall be your blessing and let it be your portion. Blessed shall you be in everywhere that you move. This blessing of the Lord will establish you. Blessing in your body Spiritual blessings, physical blessing, financial blessings, blessing in every other area, blessings, blessings, blessings. You will be blessed when you come in and you will be blessed when you go out. The Lord will grant that the enemies will rise up against you. Part of the blessing is that will be defeated before your face. They will come at you from one direction but flee away from you in seven ways. This is part of the blessings. I want you to pray that blessing into your life. The Lord will establish you in his holy place as his holy people. As he promised you on, on an oath that if you keep the commandment of the Lord your God and walk in obedience to him, then all the people of the earth will see that you are called. What shows that you are called is when God's blessing is upon you. The world do not see anything. They see the physical things in your life. I may the Lord cause you. Come, Redishiada, Katoshi Birenda, Ila Garadushki Brostakaya, Zala Ita Krusinda Garasibro in the Karasta Pradishkia, Enda Garasinda. O Lord, bless your people. O Lord, bless them with the blessing of Abedidom. Bless them, bless them, bless them, bless them. 
enlarge their coast enlarge their coast oh god bless them and keep them protect them and bless them lord bless them and the lord bless them bless them with the blessings of job that lord your turn is captivity and bless him and multiplied him and made him the greatest and the richest man back again oh lord we pray for each and everyone here lord bless them bless them those who think that life is over their latter end bless them bless them bless the young ones bless the youth bless everyone that is here lord when everything seems to have scattered bring them together again and bless them bless our churches bless our businesses bless our marriages bless our wives bless our children bless our families bless our husbands bless them when you bless a husband he ceases to become a drunkard he ceases to become irresponsible he become a responsible husband that is part of the blessing lord bless them bless each and every one bless our children bless our family bless our homes bless whatever we have bless your people bless them and bless them bless them until they have no room to contain their blessing bless them oh god until they begin to cry bless them and bless them and bless them and bless them and bless them until heaven is open pour your blessing until they have no room to contain i pray for you our heavenly father we pray for your servants and your handmaid as we stand before you this afternoon we acknowledge that that it is you who gives us power who gives us the ability to produce wealth and to confirm your covenant today we confirm your covenant of blessings upon each and every one in the name of jesus in the name of jesus lord you've blessed us with all spiritual blessings and these blessings are in the heavenly places we convert them through our prayers to the physical realm so that we can touch we can use we can spend we can enjoy them on earth here we can use them to help others in the name of jesus oh lord this realm we bring the spiritual realm of that blessing to this earthly realm in the name of jesus christ of nazareth let it be let it be oh lord bless them bless your people bless them with heavenly blessing bless them with spiritual blessings bless them with physical blessings bless them financially bless them with health bless them oh god in the name of jesus that wherever they enter men may do them good and not evil the lord they will dig and water will come forth this shall be their blessing oh god blessing that will bring protection upon their life blessing that will make them fruitful in life blessing that will increase them oh god a blessing that comes from above we pray oh god you bless them and you keep them because you bless them present them and protect them because of your blessing they will be protected and preserved in time of difficulties in time of war in time of famine in time of hunger may they be protected under your blessings in the name of jesus in the name of jesus when diseases and epidemic and all other things come may they be preserved by your blessings may you keep them under your blessings 
in the name of Jesus oh Lord let your face shine upon them let your face shine upon each and every one oh Lord and be gracious to them wherever they go wherever they stand be gracious to them be gracious to them be gracious to them Lord let the world know that your grace is upon their life oh Lord turn your face towards them that simply means whenever they cry you will hear whenever they pray your, your face is towards them you haven't turned your back towards them when a man is blessed you turn your face towards them whatever sign they give oh God whatever speech they give whatever prayer they pray because they are facing you oh God you answer it oh Lord your prayers become like the prayer which Solomon prayed that when we turn our face towards you but that is where your face is you will also be looking towards us you will bless us and we pray you will hear us oh God I pray that the blessings of Abraham will rest upon you may your seed be blessed anyone that blesses you may you be blessed may you with a little conquer a nation lord one shall put thousand and ten thousand to fly because the blessings of the lord is upon thee today i pronounce a blessing upon you that you shall be blessed that you shall be blessed that the lord shall set you high above your fellows high above nations on this earth concerning the things of this earth may you be raised high 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 in your office may you be promoted and lifted up by this blessing may god bless you and may they bypass everybody and come to where the blessing is may you be raised high above your fellows in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus may this blessing come upon you may it accompany you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ you will be a blessed city when you go into a city you'll be blessed when you come out of the city you'll be blessed in the villages you'll be blessed in town you'll be blessed it doesn't matter which position they put you wherever they put you may you be blessed may you be blessed may you be blessed may you be blessed blessing upon your body blessing upon your water blessing upon your food blessing upon your life blessing upon your children blessing upon your your family blessing upon your parent blessing upon whatever you put your hand to do may you be blessed may your life be blessed may your water be blessed may your bread be blessed your work your businesses your homes may they be blessed whatever you put your hands to do there may be 10,000 doing the same thing. May you stand out in the name of Jesus. And let men say, yes, this one is standing out because God's blessing is upon him. May the Lord bless you. And may you stand out that because of this blessing, no enemy shall fight you and win. Because of this blessing, no sickness shall come upon you and destroy you because of this blessing no power shall overcome thee because of this blessing no sin shall have power and dominion over you because of this blessing may you walk with your chest out may the lord bless you may the lord increase you in the name of jesus amen and amen
But I sense the blessings of the Lord is falling upon you like the rain. You don't understand what the blessing is. You will be soaked with God's blessing. Oh, yes. When the glory comes, there will be no words to say. God's glory. That carries his blessing. When the glory when God comes, blesses you, you don't need to explain to people. To say. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, when the glory comes, when the glory comes, there will be no words. There will be no words to say.
rain upon your people. Abundant rain upon our nation. Abundant rain upon our marriages. Abundant rain upon our finances. Abundant rain upon us. Lord, let it overflow. Let it overflow. Let it overflow. Abundant rain upon our health. Every disease in this room. Lord, let your waters, your rain, let it touch every area. Let it touch every sickness. Let it touch every cancer cell. Let it touch every weakness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I bless my people. I will bless you with the heavenly gift. Okay, oh, my son. I bless you. You will never be defeated. For I'll be with you. And I'll be upon you. I will turn your life. I will touch your life. I will fight battle that is stronger than you. My blessings will go before you. And men shall begin. To bless you because I have blessed you. No weapon fashion against you shall prosper. They shall be your portion, says the Lord. Amen. I want to just anoint this once. Let them stand. Then next week, it will be a general strengthening of the Lord to make wealth. It is the Lord who gives us that power to make wealth. And it's a sign, just a symbol of the oil, simply mean. Oh Lord, the very spirit of anointing, blessings upon their life that run through.
general one. This one is a selected one that ran through. I believe that blessing is not only money. Blessing covers health. That if any sickness, any disease, any treacherous disease is attacking, the way to counter attack it is to be blessed. And next week, we'll dedicate that one for everyone. Amen. Say, Prophet, I'm now come place in I won't talk about it. the minister, you don't need to talk about it, you'll get it. Amen. So we're going to take our offering. As we who is that expecting to take an envelope from my hands? Who is that expecting to take an envelope from my hand? Lady, stand up. God is going to bless you. You are a prophetic word. By the mouth of two or three. It is established. Bring three envelopes. I wait until she's up. How much is she going to give? How much? None of you knows. You don't know. So I take this three envelope. Oh, woman, how much is in your heart? Huh? Three thousand. Who want to join here? How many, anyone that want to join then come forward here? With the same. Lady, it is done.
Which one of you have fasted this year? Sought the face of God. Here is the word of the Lord. I will rise up upon your life and I will cause my angels to go ahead of you. Don't be afraid for I bless you. beautiful music and telling you love him give a love offering our gracious father we give him because we love you we give him because we know you're the one who can bless us we are giving because you can turn things around we are giving because your blessing covers our medical bills. Covers the expensive bills. You take away our diseases. Your blesses our water and blesses our food. So our youth is renewed. Oh Lord, our bones are strengthened. Our blood purified. Our nerves repaired. Every tissue in our body is blessed. Lord, it is done. Thank you. Amen.
Says that whoever blesses you shall be blessed. So, as you blesses that blessed person, you receive blessing a hundredfold and a thousandfold. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be upon you. May the Lord bless you all. And may you go with great blessing. Your going shall be blessed. Your coming in shall be blessed. Your sleeping shall be blessed. Your getting up shall be blessed. Your family shall be blessed. May this blessing remain with you forever and ever. To the next generation, to the third generation, to the fourth generation, let it be that blessings. Amen and amen. amen. God bless you. We are made next week. Thank you. You passed through all this rain and you came. You meant business with God.